hello again. So mermaid is coming and maybe you've seen my mermaid bullet journal. If you haven't, check the link in the description or in the card. But this time I want to show you how to draw a mermaid in a very easy way. For me, the biggest problem with drawing are proportions. That's my lifetime nemesis. <laughs> Color comes easy, but the proportions are tough. And that's why I thought maybe somebody else struggles with this and I thought I'd make things easier. All you need is something to draw and this kind of shaped ruler that you probably have if you have kids or if you are a kid or somebody who knows kids <laughs> or teaches. Let's get to it and I'll show you how to make it real simple. So let's use the small oval for the face. And then we'll use this triangle for the torso. And this small line that you see here will be the length of our neck. For the hips we'll use the large circle. And we'll overlap it so that a little bit of triangle is inside the hip. Now you got the bases and you can decide on how you would like to have the tail. You can have the tail just straight down, straight with straight lines and you can just meet them wherever you like. But to me it's more fun if we make them a bit more wavy. And for the arms we can again use our shape ruler and arms usually come to the mid thighs so we'll try to make them as long as they are or you can make them a little bit longer if you want to have your mermaid a bit more elegant. Usually the long limbs are considered elegant in the mermaid world if you didn't know. For the end of the tail you can again use the triangle if you want to and it would look like this. Or you can use the half circle and get a real fishy tail. And then you can just fill it in. Now we've got our bases and I'll just trace over it so you can see how easy it is to get a mermaid from all this. As you can see it's not so difficult to draw a mermaid. And everybody will know this is a mermaid. I'm just rounding off some shapes but mainly I'm just following them. Here I'm following my curve because I prefer to have this curvy tail. But you can have straight tail of course. Just in the water everything seems to curve a, a little bit. And then you can make any kind of hair you want to. I'll just make very simple wavy hair. But you can make afro, you can make thin hair, you can give her short hair if you want to. Nobody says that they have to have long hair, you know. And that's our mermaid for today. That's how you draw a mermaid. You can play around with these shapes a lot and make all kinds of different shapes of mermaids. You can see here I made it with triangle tail and I shortened her tail. Here is just the straight line tails and I put the arms up. Here I made wavy lines just freehand and also a wavy tail. Or you can make a really wavy tail and just some lines for the arms. Then you get a lot of variations. I hope you try it and if you do please tag me at Very Arty Fairy. I hope to see your mermaids. I'd love to see them. If you like this video please like it and subscribe because more is coming. I hope we'll paint some mermaids and do some other fun stuff. Bye bye!